Right, moving on to this. When I applied to do the commission here, okay, this is the idea which I sent forward. This is what you were working on today. Okay, so this is the idea of the aircraft, the idea of peace. So it was the idea of this aircraft turning into a duck. Now, the real one which I made, this is the one which you're going to have. Can you see that? So you've got the sweeping vapour trail here, you've got the dove, and you've got the aeroplane. Okay? So I kept this from you today, because I wanted to see what you were going to turn up with. And I'm glad I did, because you did some absolutely brilliant things. So just as an idea. Okay? So that was that one. And um, that's hopefully um, uh, is going to be with you by the, um, uh, by the end of December. And uh, certainly in January you will have that outside. In the snow? In the snow. It, it, it usually is. Yeah. It's usually in the snow when things happen like that. It wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> okay. Paul, can you say something about the scale? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Right, of course. Um, the scale, right, let's have a look at this. I'm estimating that the actual piece of work that you're going to have will be about um, will be about 13, 14 foot, 12 to 14 foot I would say. So this is a scale model of it. So what I will do, I will measure this, I measure this, I will take it to the engineers and say, right, this needs to be scaled up to reach about 12, 14 foot in height. And they will do it. They will do it. So, let's see if the base here, one, two, I haven't got to take measure with me really. I haven't got to move here, have we? No. Uh, I can't do this is about two foot. I'm still working in, in feet and inches, by the way. Um, so if that is two foot in height, this will be probably um, one sixth of the height. Would I be right in that? One sixth of the height? Yes, six times two is twelve. Yes, two yeah. So this is one sixth of the height. So the base here, let's have a look, okay, is five inches. So in reality, six times five is thirty inches. So the base will be about 30 inches, maybe 40 inches. Okay, the actual thickness of the steel is going to be 6 mil. Okay, so we're talking about, yeah. And this bit at the top, if you've got that 6, uh, six that'll be about 3 feet. Okay, so you're talking about the actual dove and the plane will be encased in about 3 feet. Would you need to do lots of detailed drawings of that for your uh, fabricators? Um, what I've done before um, is I've actually made a life-size hardboard replica of it. Okay, so it's exactly the same as that, but they, you know, they can't get it wrong once you've actually produced that. But that's what I did for the figures in Birkenhead Park. Okay, and I, and I, and I was happy with that. So, um, but I mean, I've got you know, I've got to know them now, and I, I, I trust them to know that they, they will scale that up because I've seen the way they work and they're very, very skilled people. And for something you know, which is quite graphic like that, by graphic I mean it's quite simple, straight lines. There's nothing too complicated in that for an engineer to make. Um, it's just getting the angles right and the shape right. And what I will do, I will cut out the dove and the plane out of hardboard and say, this has got to be dead right. Okay, and they've got that sh those shapes to work for me. So that's, you know, that, that, that's where I'll go with them. Rather than, well, I suppose I can, I, I can produce some, you know, just some A, A, A1 drawings for them as well, which are probably good. But I, I like to do things hands-on so they can actually see things rather than take measurements. So they can see that and uh, they will see the shapes of the actual thing. Okay. And why the dove and the plane? What's why the, the dove and the plane? Right. The dove, because of that brief, which you, you know, we had this thing about, you know, um, uh, bravery, 
we had the thing about peace, and we had the um, uh, the issue about um, uh, a possibility of an aircraft thing. Now, I mean, it just hit me in the face so so you know much about the dove of peace. I know it's it could be seen as a bit of a cliche, but I don't think so. It is a renowned uh, symbol of peace, and I think it's fine. And the I mean, I, I, I did several, several ideas along these lines, you know, having the dove flying off and having the aircraft. But I think because it was so specific about commemorating uh, a World War II RAF pilot, I think I couldn't do anything without incorporating the actual aeroplane, because I think that was very significant. He was flying a hurricane, which was a fighter, which died. So, so this shape here has got to actually represent the hurricane and it's within the context of a peaceful um, scenario. Okay. Now it, you can have, we can have a great debate over this regarding this was war, it shouldn't be glorified anything. I'm not trying to glorify war at all. What I'm trying to do is just to incorporate this idea of peace and to actually commemorate the bravery of this man who did um, who crashed. So there we are. Has anybody got any questions on that, by the way? Okay. What do you think to the work for, for the sculpture here? Do you like, like the idea? Do you like the form? Brilliant. Weird? Brilliant. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. What was it made from? Well, it's, it's going to be made in steel. Okay. Um, and. Uh, I'm going to try and get it, I'm going to see if we can get it made in stainless steel so it's got a reflective quality to it. How are you going to pull it up? Um, well, that's always a concern. <laughs> no, what, uh, what's, that, what's going to happen is um, uh, the, uh, your construction people have already laid a slab outside where it's going to go. The pavings, uh, that's under the paving stones. This is going to arrive on the lorry with a crane on the top, to be hoisted from the lorry. Okay, onto the slab. Then I'm going to drill holes in through the base and with bolts, more bolts, it'll be bolted down. That is it. Simple as that. I hope. <laughs> and it will be on a day when you can witness it. Yes. So you'll be very much part of that part yeah. of the project. You'll um, have to give me your, uh, your dates and yeah. your before you break up. Yes. Like yeah. and I, can, I, I can work that. Oh yes, we'll, 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 we'll do it during the small time. And just, just to sort of put it in the context of, of the client, and, and I was lucky enough to be sort of on the panel to, to look at all the works that, and ideas for the, for the sculptures. Um, what we really liked about Paul's work, what we really like about it, is how inspirational it can be to you as, as students. That there is, we are commemorating the bravery of an individual, but we also want to think about the bravery of, of everybody um, and the hard work of everybody. And so we hope it's an inspirational piece of work and something that you can identify and engage with. And with the reflective quality possibly of the stainless steel, it will reflect the environment in which you work. This is going to be a piece that you'll walk past and look at and reflect, and maybe sit underneath, um, every day. Um, so we, we, we hope um, that you'll enjoy it as much as we expect you to, because we, we think it's a very inspirational piece. Anything that makes, I think, us look up and look at the sky and, and, and be thoughtful is, um, is, is excellent. So uh, you know, we, we hope it will uh, fulfill what we wanted as well. So, we're very excited about it, and the scale as well, um, and that the positive and negative at the, at the top there um, that you've been exploring in your own work means that the sculpture can be viewed beautifully from every side and every angle, and I think you'll you'll see um, sort of different shapes and colours and forms in it once it's erected. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I hope you know. <coughs> hope you get, I hope you do get something out of this, you know, because you've all. You've all produced some lovely ideas today anyway, all linked to this. That's why I didn't show you. I wanted to see what you did. <laughs> <laughs>